So one year ago this week, I had butt surgery. Yeah. Specifically, I had surgery uh, on the area where my leg is cut off. I had what's called a neuroma. Well, a neuroma is just the end of a nerve that's been severed, but I had a tumor at the end of that nerve. The tumor was about the size of a, like a chicken nugget or a, a falafel, tangerine, an apricot. I don't know. I've, tumors are always described in terms of their food, right? Have you noticed? <laughs> so it's like I was diagnosed with cancer and it was the size of a watermelon. The point is that I got this tumor chopped out a year ago. It was on the end of my sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is very thick. At this point, it's about a centimeter thick. And I also had this sort of interesting reconstruction of the nerve. Now, the reason that I had it cut out was because it was giving me a lot of pain, but not the kind of pain you'd think in this localized area. I actually had phantom pain. Phantom pain, as you probably know, is this sort of pain that you experience in a part of your body that has been cut off. Most amputees have some phantom pain. I had a lot of it and it seemed to be caused by this large tumor. The tumor was in fact just a bundle of nerves. It forms because uh, nerves they try to regenerate after they've been uh, chopped off but if they don't if they're not connected to anything like not inserted into any muscle tissue anymore it just kind of grows into itself. It becomes this sort of rat king of nerves. Do you know what a rat king is? If you don't google it or don't you should google it. Google it and let me know what you think in the comments. You'll be disturbed. So there's there's this rat king of nerves. It's giving me phantom pain. Phantom pain, I feel it in my foot uh, as most people who feel phantom pain feel it at the end of the, like in their hand or in their foot. Now, phantom pain, is, it's really interesting and we don't exactly understand why uh, this, this thing happens. Most people's guess is that it is because there is no longer any signal coming to the brain for that body part, but your brain has a map of your body so to speak, and there's a sense called proprioception. You have many more than the five senses that your elementary school teacher told you. One of them is proprioception. That's your sense of your body in space. So if you close your eyes, you can sort of still imagine you know, where your hands are. Problem is, there's no signal coming in anymore. The metaphor I like to use is, imagine you're a security guard in a building, you know, like in a heist movie, and there's all of the cameras set up you see the screens of. Imagine one of those cameras has been chopped off. The brain's the same way, right? One of the nerves has been cut off, the brain is still looking at that screen, but it's only getting static, which it interprets as pain. So one year ago, I had this experimental surgery to remove not only the tumor, but to do this reconstruction of the nerves. It's very interesting, a number of surgeons practice it now, but I had it done by the surgeon who actually developed the technique originally. So what he did was chop off that tumor at the end of the sciatic nerve. They were kind enough to take photos of it. Uh, I have these crazy photos. Like literally it's my butt is just cut open and it's like held open, you know, it, by surgical tools. And they're like pulling out the tumor and it is indeed the size of a chicken McNugget. So he chops off this tumor and then he spliced the end of the nerve into several pieces and inserted them into my glute. So the idea is that the nerve will sort of find a new home in the glute. Instead of just being this loose end of nerves, now it's got a home, it's got a place to find signals, and my brain over time, hopefully through uh, what's called neuroplasticity, will remap these nerves and imagine that the, uh, the signals that it thinks are coming from my foot are in fact in my glutes. Very weirdly, if I, like right now, I'm flexing the ankle in my foot, so I'm going like this on the imaginary foot that's not there. I know, it's weird. In fact, my glute is flexing now. Like I'm, I'm imagining flexing the ankle and now pointing the toes and in doing so I fire different aspects of my glute. Why? Because the nerve has now, uh, <laughs> now it sends a signal into the glute. It's crazy. In fact, in the surgery, they actually stimulate the nerve upstream in the nerve with a little shock of electricity to test and make sure the muscle fires. In fact, after the surgery, the surgeon told me my physical therapy is to exercise my phantom leg. That's right, my friends, I'm supposed to work out the leg that does not exist, and that is my physical therapy. So I do this every day. I do sets of like 10 ankle flexes throughout the day. It's hard, actually, and sometimes it's very painful to do so. Speaking of pain, if you've been following me since last year, you know that I experienced an incredible amount of pain after the surgery. And I mean, I'm not exaggerating on any of this. I could not sit down because it was so painful. I could not lie on my back 
because it was so painful. I could not watch Netflix because I had too much pain to be able to concentrate. I couldn't read. I literally could not do anything. I just kind of wandered around the apartment on my crutches at varying levels of agony. I slept very little. I, I would sleep, you know, 15 minutes here or there. I would basically just be up all night. I mean, I'll be honest, like a lot, like some, some of those first nights, I just would like lie in bed on my stomach, just writhing in pain and just moaning in pain. For, I mean, for hours. Because of the uh, the pain, I, I couldn't urinate. I had to go to the emergency room. I had a catheter put in. I wore the catheter for, oh, man, I don't know, three, four weeks, which made it even more difficult to move. And this, this like urine bag attached to my thigh at all times. I had different problems with the catheter coming in and I had to put it back in. So, I mean, we went to the emergency room a number of times uh, during December and January. But yeah, it's just crazy to think back on how bad it was for a while. It was an, I mean, I was just hoping that I would get better. I could not imagine a life of that constant level of pain. Like it was just, that is, uh, yeah, I just don't know how long I could have made it through that. I actually performed a couple stand-up comedy shows. I had butt surgery, fun fact. Uh, with the catheter in, I had this this pee bag attached to my thigh. Like I, I, my you know my thigh was slowly growing over the course of my show. Well, I always like to say that I do literally everything half-assed because you can see uh, it was very painful uh, <laughs> to do those performances. But hey, the show must go on. Finally, I turned a corner in I guess maybe mid-January things started to get a little better every day and they've continued to get a little tiny bit better every day I am by no means better per se like I'm sitting in this chair right now but it is still fairly painful for me to do so not unbearable but I use a standing desk and I can only sit for I don't know maybe like an hour at the time I still sleep on my stomach in fact I have this contraption of a pillow I sort of build this special pillow fort that I sleep on on my stomach that I've developed that like puts the least amount of pressure here at the site of my surgery where I still have probably a seven inch scar coming up the back of my butt yeah man it's been a crazy year and it's crazy how much that surgery still affects me although I am hopeful that with my continued physical therapy the nerves will continue to heal i actually lost my leg if you don't know to cancer when i was a child and if you think about it you know the sciatic nerve was cut then and the sciatic nerve was cut again last year so it is essentially the same nerve damage that i experienced when i was a child and that took many years to like fully heal i'm hopeful uh, that with continued physical therapy with flexing my phantom leg every day i'll make new neural pathways stronger neural pathways uh, into this new setup of nerves that I have now in my body and, and maybe one day I will be fortunate enough to be truly and finally free of the phantom pain. I've been so amazed and so touched really at how much you all have cared about me and this surgery over the past year. Every time I post a video, one of you will ask, how are you doing? Is the pain better? Uh, what happened with the surgery? That means a lot that, that you guys uh, have been thinking about me and, and for that reason I wanted to provide you with this update. My hope that I will continue to get better and continue to be able to occasionally sit in a chair and deliver you a vlog like this one that I'm so grateful to you for sitting through this incredibly long video with me. So thanks for watching. We should hang out sometime.